Hi, I'm Dr. Aprajita Sophia D'Souza, a consultant obstetrician and gynecologist at Apollo Kondapur, Hyderabad. And I'm here today to talk about a safe and healthy motherhood. Motherhood is the most blessed time in a woman's life. This is a journey and not just a destination. So enjoy your journey joyously. I would just discuss about the healthy motherhood. Ideally speaking, before a couple decides to get pregnant, they should be visiting an obstetrician so that they can be, dis they can be examined and worked up for any chronic illnesses if at all the mother has. She will get her preconceptional counselling as to what medicine, that is folic acid, she should be starting before she has got pregnant. Once she decides to get pregnant, she has to continue trying for pregnancy. Once the, she misses her period, she should go to an obstetrician who will take a good history and an examination to work out for a plan for her because each plan is tailor-made for each mother. And a good history has to be taken. The history will include her present history as well as her past history, the past medical history and her past surgical history. If she's already been a mother previously, her past obstetrical history is equally important. So she needs to go and meet an obstetrician who will be seeing her throughout her pregnancy. Ideally, work out beforehand so that you meet an obstetrician and you continue your care with the same obstetrician. The obstetrician would be telling you about few investigations which are required as an essential part of your antenatal care as in some blood and urine investigation, a blood grouping, a hemoglobin test, a thyroid test, the viral markers, the sugar tests are few of the investigations which are definitely required. She will also give a urine routine examination and if required a urine culture which you should be doing. Uh, at various stages of your pregnancy you would have to undergo an ultrasound or a scan one in the initial pregnancy at around seven weeks when we diagnose if the pregnancy is intrauterine that is inside the uterus if it is a single or a twin pregnancy and if the heartbeat has normally come after that another ultrasound is required at 11 to 13 plus 6 weeks this ultrasound is also called as a nt scan where nt stands for nuchal translucency this ultrasound tells us about any structural malformation if at all god forbidden if it is present along with this we do a test which is called as double marker to rule out any chromosomal abnormality then we do an ultrasound at around fifth month which is called as a tifa scan which just rules out all the malformation if at all present these are the normal investigation ultrasounds required if required, if the obstetrician has any doubt about the growth of the baby or about the amount of water around the baby or the placenta, then maybe they would do a growth scan at around 7th month of pregnancy. You should remember that pregnancy is a normal physiological change. It's not a disease that you are having. So we only give few supplements that are required during pregnancy. In the first trimester, that means the first three months, a simple folic acid is, is the only thing that you require. This protects you from neural tube defects. Later on, the following months of the pregnancy, you are given an iron and a, and a calcium tablet throughout your pregnancy to make up and keep your body ready for labor and delivery. Remember, again I would stress that pregnancy is not a disease. So just go on your pregnancy like a normal person. You are not a patient, you are just a mother. You are just undergoing a normal physiological change that the nature has given to you. Uh, about the dietary advice, very important that we know about a few facts about dietary advice. You should have a good diet. We say it a rainbow diet. That means a diet full of carbohydrates, proteins, fats, the micro minerals, all these are required. You should also have plenty of fluids to drink. Remember about the food safety. Do not have foods which have got preservatives or chemicals, especially in the first three to four months where the baby's organs are being formed. 
good physical activity is an essential part of the pregnancy so going for good walks or some form of exercise the non weight bearing exercises are absolutely okay in pregnancy you can join some yoga or zumba class if you really require and you can continue the other simple exercises that you've already been doing the other thing that you should take care is about your weight management ideally speaking you should be in the ideal weight group prior to pregnancy in case you are already overweight at the time of pregnancy the weight gain should be lesser than the other women the total weight gain should be around 12 kg in a normal in a singleton pregnancy and around 16 to 18 kg in a twin pregnancy again it is tailor made and it is dif- different for each lady the other thing that you should keep in mind that be away from any of the environment toxin or stress workload all these also affect your pregnancy you should join some hospital where there are ideally some childbirth classes these classes will tell you about the changes that you are undergoing and will prepare you for labor remember to ask your obstetrician about some danger signs these danger signs are usually if you have decreased fetal movement you should immediately go and meet your obstetrician if you have excessive weight gain excessive swelling over the uh, body or the legs if you have uh, any headaches blurring of vision this could be sign of hypertension during pregnancy if you have any bleeding or severe pain or any fainting episodes again go and meet an obstetrician on an urgent basis remember ask for your doubts clear your doubts it is not only the obstetrician which is taking who is taking care of your pregnancy it is the three of you who are going through a journey your obstetrician the couple you and your husband and your baby so together you can keep this journey in a joyous mood prepare for your labor before hands so that you do not come under unprepared and in the end suddenly ask for cesarean remember normalcy is the best thing that you can ever have so insist for a normal delivery unless there are some complications the obstetricians usually do not advise for an uh, cesarean sections go in with your birthing partner who's been there throughout your pregnancy if you can and if you can uh, if it is available go in with a birth companion as in a midwife or a doula who will maintain the continuity of care and you are uh, prepared for your labor there are a lot of pain relief options ask your obstetrician beforehand and you can opt for these pain relief options and not ask for a cesarean just because of the fear of pain remember normal is better than cesarean because a cesarean is a surgery and there are short term and long term hazards of this enjoy your journey of pregnancy and have a good journey and a good uh, labor thank you